What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So we got some pretty interesting news yesterday and today about the direction that I think Sony is finally going to start going. So I believe it was at last E3 where there was kind of a clash between Xbox, Nintendo and Sony where Xbox and Nintendo realized the importance of crossplay and they were both going in that direction and Sony was kind of against it pretty much saying that their ecosystem, their IPs, and all of that stuff is way too valuable for them to even think about trying to get into crossplay. Well, as time has passed, I think they're starting to realize how important it is, how much the consumers want, and if they want to survive going on to the next generation and further, they're going to have to eventually give in, and we're starting to finally see that now. So this article, this is from trueachievements.com, and this is talking about how Minecraft is now going to be available for crossplay with the PlayStation 4. This was announced um, yesterday, or was it announced? It was announced today, actually, coming out December 10th. They released a trailer showing people playing on their PlayStation Minecraft and then connecting. Obviously, it changes to green with the Xbox and with Nintendo as well, with somebody playing on the Switch. It's actually a pretty cool trailer. And they end off this trailer with finally if you remember this picture here had nintendo and xbox only in it. it said survive together or play together or whatever it was but it was half red half green and they ended off with this now putting the blue in the middle as playstation and we're, there's finally going to be cross play between all platforms now you could say that we saw this coming because cross play was available for call of duty modern warfare one of the biggest selling games. So you could see Sony finally slowly starting to turn the corner with crossplay, starting to realize how important it is. And it all really shows in this as well. And this is going to be starting today on Xbox One, Windows 10, and Nintendo Switch, as well as Android and Gear VR. So it's a massive community now within Minecraft. If you're playing Minecraft that you're gonna be able to connect to. Now, unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to earn achievements with the PlayStation for Minecraft, if you're somebody who still wants to earn those Xbox or Windows 10 achievements while playing on the PlayStation 4 version, you're obviously still gonna be able to get the trophies. I'm someone who loves the achievements ecosystem. So I love playing games on a PC, but I really prefer playing games on Xbox Game Pass on PC because I love the achievement system. So that's unfortunate, but I mean, obviously that wasn't going to happen. Now, and even a bigger surprise announcement, I had nobody I think saw this coming, but I think this is massive because MLB The Show is a massive selling game on the PlayStation. It is the only baseball game out there that's any good and only good baseball sim, but it's exclusive to PlayStation. This was announced today that the MLB, MLBPA, and Sony have extended their video game partnership. But not only that, in even bigger news, that it's going to go beyond the PlayStation platforms as early as 2021. Now, if you've never played MLB The Show, it is, whether you like sports or you like baseball or not, it is an incredible video game. It's an incredible baseball sim. There's so much to do in it. It even has tons of great RPG elements in it. And it is, but for me, it was very sad that I could only play it on the PlayStation. Something, if I could play that on my PC or if I could play that on even the Nintendo Switch on the go, it would have been awesome, but it's only on PlayStation and I've played it on PlayStation ever since. I mean, I don't for a very long time. It's been coming out for a very long time. But now that the chance that I'll be able to get this on my PC or even on my Xbox or Nintendo Switch as well, to me is a huge game changer. And I think it's a massive announcement and really shows how much of a change Sony is going under leading into the next generation of consoles. Now, this article specifically did not state that it's going to go on the Xbox or the Nintendo Switch or PC, but after this was announced through the MLB Communications Twitter, Xbox came on and said, no more away games, and then quoted that tweet in this article, which is pretty much saying they're gonna be getting it. And then Nintendo also quoted and tweeted this article with a little baseball, which was kind of signifying that they're gonna be getting it too. So that's really, really exciting. Now, no matter where you play, Starting in 2021, you're going to be able to play MLB The Show. If you love baseball, this is massive. If you love simulations or even RPGs and like real world settings, it's a really fun game. And I would definitely highly recommend checking it out, even if you aren't a huge sports gamer or even if you're not that much into baseball, I think you can still get some enjoyment out of MLB The Show. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about this because it really shows that Sony is finally breaking down and realizing that they can't survive alone. They need to survive off of 
crossplay and off of seeing what the other companies are doing and not falling behind. They know it's massive and they're finally starting to break. And this is just great for the consumer now and going forward. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Are you excited about this? How excited are you about MLB the show getting on other platforms? Let me know. I'd love to know. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for new to this channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.